We're going to the airport. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? Shadia, my backpack just got thrown off the table. Like actually, it just got thrown off the table by something. Today is a really sad day. <coughs> Why is it a sad day? Cameramen are not allowed to talk. Okay. First of all, today's Father's Day. So it's a sad day. Happy Father's Day. Wait, is Father's Day supposed to be a happy day or a sad day? It's supposed to be a very happy day. Really? It's supposed to be a day where I show you appreciation in every way. Why aren't you doing that every other day? See how I just baited your ass? Today is a very sad day because I have made a list of why it's sad. So, today's a sad day. <laughs> Step one, I'm gonna read through all thousands of these steps of why it's a sad day. Oh God. Step one, or sad day number one, is because today is a sad day because my seaweed business was shut down by the government. Apparently selling seaweed <laughs> on the beach is illegal here in the Dominican Republic. And it's only because they don't want you to get better because seaweed cures everything and they don't want you to get better so they just shut down my business. Number two, reason number two, we got thousands of reasons so I hope you guys have your popcorn. Number two, today's a sad day because we're leaving our home. The government's taking it over because my, apparently I funded my house with my illegal seaweed business, so now they're confiscating the home. It's going to auction and it's gonna be sold to drug dealers, AKA governments. Okay, number three. Number three, this is a, a good one. Sad, sad reason number three, we're leaving our home. Sad reason number four, we're going back to a place called Canada. Why? Why does that place even exist? Okay, number five. We're leaving Dominican Republic. Number six. I hope you guys are ready for this. We got a lot more to go here. Like, like we, I got a big list for you guys. A really huge one. Number six. I forgot how to read. Good morning guys. I didn't mean to start today's vlog on a sad note. She's still smiling at me. I think it's either A, because she wants my or B, because it's Father's Day. Which one is it? Oh, one second. Today is a sad day because my wife left me. And she came back because she wants that. Oh my God. <laughs> Today is a sad day because Shadia I don't know, man. I'm just trying to find reasons to be sad. The only sad. thing I did right now is putting my eyebrows way too high. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix that right now. So, honestly, today's is going to be miserable for me because it is our last day here and I don't want to leave. This is this is like my definition of home. Oh, my God, look. It's a neighbor. We have never seen that neighbor before. He just came out of nowhere. Did even know we had neighbors? Yeah. I mean, there's... Like there's literally... where we Like on our driveway, we have a private driveway it's, and it's got four houses on it. Our house, our drug dealer neighbor's house next door. Uh, he's a nice guy though. His brother's an NFL player apparently. I uh, don't know who, but he is. And uh, we have two other houses, all identical to our house, but some have four bedrooms, some have three bedrooms, and different looking pools, but they're all identical pretty much. And we, uh, like we've met, <laughs> I've met this guy, um, the NFL player's house, nice guy. I've met the other, uh, I've never met the other guy, but I've met, we saw the lady yesterday, there's a lady next door, she's yeah. got like a, a dog rescue. The dogs don't be barking all the time, no, which is good. Okay. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm just it, I'm just sad today because we're leaving. But like, at least we get to see Rania, right? But I'm just sad. Like, this is like, if you were to ask me, Mo, where's your home? I was born in Lebanon, but honestly, it's been so long since I've been back to Lebanon. We need to go there. We do, we do, and we might actually I've go there. I've never been there, actually, myself. Yeah. So. so yeah, like I was born and raised there. But like, Canada, is to me, is not my home. Um, I don't recognize it anymore because it used to be a decent country, but now like, you know, it's just getting ruined, and uh, like Dominican Republic feels like home to me. Like, it's like the good, the good stuff that I had in Lebanon, all in one place here, which is why I love it here. All right, so we're heading to Puerto Plata. You're Puerto, very dark. Puerto Plata. I am dark. It's very dark here. It's because I'm tanned. No, the screen is dark. Oh, it's getting better. <laughs> so we're heading to Puerto Plata. Um, we want to go eat at our at our favorite like little shack. There's like this place, this Russian lady that has food. And because I'm sad today, that food's gonna make me happy. Is she Russian? She's Russian. I, I thought she was her. Dominican. No, she's Russian. She was white as snow. Oh, and, no and she was Russian. Sorry, guys, if the footage is really uh, bumpy. 
Well, hold the camera straight. I am holding it. Dude, I'd be like jumping over houses and buildings and running from guys with machetes and my, my footage is nice and stable. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not mad do that again or you're going to get fired. Okay. It is Father's Day, but it's my day. I get to be a dick today. No, you can't. Isn't that how Father's Day works? No. Wait, why didn't we celebrate Father's Day last year? We did. Really? Yeah, we did. I don't remember it. We were, I think, on vacation as well with Rania. Were we on vacation? I think. I'm where, not, where I don't remember, we? to be honest. Where were we? Hey, look at the gate. All guy. I know is that we had Rania with us. Hola, amigo. Hola. That's my guy, amigo. His name is Hola. <laughs> yeah, we're heading to Puerto Plata right now to have some food. Driving, it's about half an hour drive. I don't even need a GPS anymore because like I have this place figured out. Thing is though, like when you're driving here in the Dominican, you always gotta be on guard. If you wanna survive and drive in the Dominican Republic, you gotta drive just like them because if you don't, you're never gonna get nowhere. And then people are gonna honk at you for no reason whatsoever. whatsoever. And yes, using turn signals here and driving illegally is perfectly normal here. So, you know, sue me. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but if I had my son with me, you know, which I don't have a son, but if I had Rhonda, my daughter, which I love very much, and I'd put her on a motorcycle like that, I just, I would probably bubble wrap her, you know, put some, uh, let her wear a helmet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would, you know, at least give her a helmet, something, just so she doesn't uh, fall. Guys, we're officially in Puerto Plata right now. We're about to go and just explore around. We're gonna hit up our favorite place to eat at, um, at that place, and then we're just gonna vlog around the area and see what's up. This place is really historic, by the way, super historic. Yeah, the buildings are really cool and old and historic. It, it kind of reminds me of Cuba, because I've been to Cuba before. Um, but there's actually cooler buildings to look at down here, something that we actually didn't look at when we were here last. Yeah, because we had baby Rania. We had baby Rania with us, we yeah. A <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just got to Central Park area. God damn, the motorcycle is loud. All right, so you guys remember we came out here last year with Rania full of birds. Oh, all the birds are still here. That's cool to see that they're still alive and not dead. Yeah, we came out here with Rania. Um, our, the place that we came to eat at, though, is closed. It's over there. I'm pretty disappointed, bro. This is what we came out here for. I mean, it was only like a half an hour drive, but. Is it because it's Sunday or is it? I think it's because it's. Time they open? I don't know. Maybe because it's a Sunday. But uh, yeah, pretty disappointed. Let's check out this building though. We never got to see it last time we were here. We're gonna get us something to eat and drink inside of this place. We actually ate here last time. They have good, yeah. They got good ice cream and good juices and everything. Oh, you're sitting on the ice cream? Chadia found the funkiest spot to sit in. I love it. You wanna sit here? Or you wanna sit here? Oh, whichever. Gracias. We just stopped off at this cafe to have ourselves some yummy coffee. Look at this place, it's really cool. It kind of reminds me of like New Orleans. It kind of reminds me of like New Orleans themed buildings. It's pretty cool. Like look at all the balconies and the way they've designed things. And like you can see how it was before. And now we got an espresso. Chatty got a frozen drink. Lemon. Lemon? Lime. Lemony Snickets. Lime. lime. Really? It's good? It's so sour. I like this chair that you're sitting on. It doesn't look comfortable, but it, it's made of crates. Pretty cool. So apparently they got a second level that you can just go up to and chill, drink your drink, whatever you want to drink. Let's just go and see what the view looks like. Uh, so you can only go to the second level, you can't go to the third. Yeah. Hey, okay. Of course they got a store up here. A nice boutique, hola. Oh, this is cool. So they got like little boutiques over here and a place to just sit and hang out and enjoy the view. And they got free Wi-Fi, look at that. Hey, check out this view. All right, this is nicer. Sitting on an old balcony overlooking Puerto Plata. This is a really cool photo right here. Yeah. It's like so cool and accommodating. And I can just leave my camera over here to fall down to the street. <laughs> Chad and I are getting some money. <laughs> we're so pissed off because our our favorite food place that we, we actually drove all the way out here to eat at is closed. And we checked her online and even on her Instagram, it, just, it says it's open and closed on Mondays, but today's a Sunday. So I don't know what's going on. Hopefully she's okay, I don't know. 
But uh, oh, even all the shops like in her little parking lot are closed as well, so it's weird. Look at all these birdies. We're about to FaceTime Rania to see if she remembers them because she absolutely loved playing with all the birds here. There's so many of them. Look at that. They just like come up to you. And Hi, birdie. Hi, birdie. Look at all the birdies. Oh my God. There's so many of them. Look at this. People just sitting there taking photos with birds. This is a pretty popular place. It's like a common place. You know, people just feed them and stuff. Hi. Hey, hey there, pretty girl. Hello. I'm almost FaceTiming Rania right now. You see and her? Yeah, I can see her. She's like so excited. She's so excited Whoa. because she sees the birds and she remembers the birds. Rania, look at the birdie. Look at the bird. We just FaceTimed Rania and she uh, she remembered the birds. It's crazy. She went crazy for them. And uh, she's she had to still FaceTime her. You guys can't really see it because there she is. There's Rania. <laughs> see, Rania and the birds are still here. She's like so excited to see the birds. <laughs> she's like, wow. Here's the deal, this place is closed. It's 1.30 p.m. right now, we're starving. But I messaged the owner on Instagram. She says she's opening in an hour and a half. Oh my god. And there's an ant on your eyebrow. Don't move, it's on your eyeball now. <laughs> it's gone, it's gone. So it's an hour and a half, do we go? I didn't even eat breakfast because and... I was waiting for it. She, re she remembers us from last year. Really? Do we go and eat? And come back, or do we do we wait an hour and a half and come back? What do we do? What do you think we should do? I say we come back. I, I kind of want to come back because her food is good, and she's like, "Oh my god, it's you guys! I remember you from last year or whatever." Um, she's like, "You haven't been back since." I'm like, "We went to Canada. Literally, we just spotted a McDonald's. I remember they were building this, and I think I'm pretty sure this is the first McDonald's in the in the Dominican Republic, if I'm not mistaken, um, here on this side of the island." So we're gonna go and check it out. She had to really want a filet fish We're waiting until our actual place that we're gonna eat at opens up. So we're gonna go and see if their filet fish is the same as the filet fish that we have in Canada McDonald's. So uh, let's go check it out. It looks like a really big one too. This is so crazy that they have a McDonald's here. It's so awesome. And it's really big. It's so cool. They got all the order machines just like in Florida. Wait, they have spicy chicken nuggets? Yeah, they got, they got it all here. That's so cool. Literally a Dominican. McDonald's. First time here. This is really cool. They have a triple chicken burger. That's what something our McDonald's don't have back in Canada. Triple chicken burger, a double chicken burger, and they got a triple deluxe burger as well. They got the chicken mac as well. It's like a chicken Big Mac. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. And they have this. And they got fried chicken as well. Like chicken tenders. There you go. All right, we got our McDonald's. Look at this. We got our own like little booth here too. Test the fries out. How are those fries, Shadia? Are they the same or what? Yeah. yeah, a little dry. A little bit, really? Yeah. Yo, you're right. Yeah, they're not, they're not the, same. the same. The fries at this McDonald's are not the same. No. They don't taste the same at all. They actually taste healthier and they taste like real fries. I actually kind of like them. They taste like real fries, yeah, but McDonald's is known for their amazing fries. Because the golden fries. Alright, so we got some uh, fish fillets. Although it's an. <laughs> They, they make them just like the fish fillets back home. They make yeah, them really like, like mushy. The bun is really soft, fresh. I feel like the bun's gonna be dry. The cheese is like melting everywhere. <laughs> Let's try this. Is it like a global thing where they just make fish fillets really messy? Like McDonald's doesn't care, they just throw it all together. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Same thing? Mm -hmm. I wanna test it out. Let's see, McDonald's fish fillet in the Dominican Republic. That bun is dry. It is dry. Mm. I think I would need more sauce. I like it though. It just needs more sauce, but it's mm -hmm. really good. It's really good. Like I, I like it's edible. Like it's not bad at all to be honest. It's actually like the fish tastes real. It's weird. I think it's different fish they use. Mm -hmm. Like it tastes like real fish. It doesn't taste like like cardboard and like um, recycled mm -hmm. apple cores like they do in the actual McDonald's. It doesn't have like that oily taste that I usually taste. Yeah. I just been hiking through the jungles here near my house. And uh, I've made it to these paths that I've never been to before. And I just found a beach that I've never been to before. And it looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, I wanted to show it to you guys for the vlog. Look at this. I've been hiking for a good, let's say, maybe half an hour. Maybe 15, 20 minutes, not even half an hour. I stopped off a couple times, drank some coconuts. And uh, got some electrolytes in me to keep going. It is really, really hot. Look at this like little natural pool. Whoa! Honestly, I wasn't gonna film anything, but this just looked way too good. There's like this little natural pool here. 
Wow. I want to swim in this. This is so cool. Love this. This is what I live for. And I wonder if there's any fish getting stuck here. So the beaches do change. Um, this beach would probably look more full in the winter because in the summer, for some reason, the beaches lose sand and then the sand returns with the tide in the winter. But I've never been to this beach in particular here. I wish I had my GoPro with me. Oh, it's taking it all into the water. But, I mean, I guess this will do, right? I wonder if we could find any tide, any fish stuck in the tide that we could rescue or possibly eat, depending on the type of fish. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get washed out any second now. Oh yeah, this was probably a bad idea. I don't wanna get these shoes wet. All right, let's, head, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. I don't wanna get my shoes wet. No, I see you creeping up on me, Ocean. Oh, <laughs> it almost got me. It almost got me. So I'm gonna make my way all the way to the end to see what's over there. I've never been up this way before. Just been exploring by myself, kind of just chilling, going on a hike. I go on hikes pretty much every day while I'm out here, um, but I don't, I don't vlog it. Usually I don't vlog it. But today, this was too beautiful to not show you guys. Oh my God, look at the water made it all the way up here. It's a good thing I, I came down from over there. So I made it to the end of the beach here and uh, still all by myself here. I don't see any other humans. Actually, wait a sec, there's more beaches over there. And I see other people all the way down there. So I made it to the end of this little beach and when I thought it was the end, it's actually not. It just continues going as you guys can see all the way there. I'm not sure where or which community this is, but it might be Seahorse Ranch where Shadi and I, we always go and eat at this fancy restaurant. All this rock that you guys are seeing right now, this would all be in sand. See how high the sand is there? That's how high the sand will return in the winter. And like when you come into this beach, like you won't even see like, you won't see any of this grass. It'll just all be sand. It's amazing how nature takes its course and it just takes sand and brings it back and it takes it and it brings it back. It's unbelievable. God is great. The way he like created this world is unbelievable. Look at this. Currently back in the jungle, making my way back home. Shadi is waiting for me. We're gonna go grab some dinner. But uh, for the time being, I'm gonna stop filming and just enjoy these beautiful jungle views. Man, this is where I'm pretty much at home, by myself, in nature. Not a single person here. Hope you guys have been enjoying today's vlog. We're about to start packing up to go home tomorrow. Ivan's gonna be uh, picking us up and we're gonna be going to the airport. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? I don't know, something just got like thrown off the, literally, Shadia, my backpack just got thrown off the table. Like actually, it just got thrown off the table by something. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Tom, my boy is here. Yo, that literally just happened. Like, oh, I wish I got that on camera. Something just literally, my, my bag was not on the table, it was on the chair. Yeah, that's where it was, it was on the chair. And it just like threw it off the chair. So today I did a live stream and people were asking me, is, is Tom still with you? And I said yes, and I literally screamed at you, Tom, my boy. And this just happened. We just got back from dinner. I'm about to FaceTime one of you guys, a fan on Facebook, um, because um, she was the, the, the highest donation. We did a live stream. Chat here. What is all these weird noises happening? We did, a, we did a, a live stream and people started donating and I said, whoever gets the highest donation in today's stream gets a FaceTime call for 15 minutes with me. So we're gonna be doing that. Are you good? Why are you walking like you're pregnant, girl? Because I feel pregnant after you. We just had a big dinner. My meal, guys, was so spicy, like I'm about to puke. I ate a piece of ginger. Yeah, that's the worst. When you accidentally eat ginger, it's so my gross. Ears on fire. So I'm gonna FaceTime this uh, Jen, and she was like the highest donation on um, live. So anytime we do live, and if you if you do donate, but like I, I tell you guys this all the time, you don't have to. But if you do, thank you. And if you get the highest donation, you're gonna get a 15 minute phone call from me. So let's do this. Hey Jen. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. There's Shadia in the back. Hi. How are you? Hey, you're look at that shirt. Let me see that shirt that you're wearing. Look at that shirt. Oh yeah, she's repping the merch. Shout out to Jen. That's so awesome of you. All right, you wonderful, amazing people. Thank you so much for tagging along on today's adventure. Hopefully you watch it all the way to the end. I just got off the phone 
with Jen and uh, she's such an awesome person. We had a long conversation, longer than 15 minutes because she had so much to say and I had so much to listen to. And Jen, you're awesome, you're one of a kind. Thank you so much for being a, a supporter of the channel and thank you all so much for being supporters of the channel. Anytime I go live, um, I, I think I'm gonna do more of this from now on. The highest, I mean the person that donates the most is gonna get a phone call from me. But I thank each and every one of you guys for donating as well, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. I always say you don't have to, but if you do, thank you. It'll go towards the channel and towards making videos and content for you guys. So that's always a plus. Tomorrow's a travel day. We're gonna get some rest. We're gonna, we just finished packing up as well. Tomorrow we're flying back to Canada and you guys get to see Rania. So yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see Rania, man. She's gonna be, I can't wait to hug her, man. I'm never going on another trip well, with like together me and Shadia without her ever again. From now on, Rania comes with us. This was like a one of a kind trip because Shadia really just wanted, you know, some a romantic time, you know, with me, you know what I'm saying? And then she just wanted a romantic time with her husband. I don't, I don't blame her, guys. I mean, who wouldn't want a romantic time with me, right? On that note, love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to be, do you stay positive and just live a little.